Now I am going to show you what is soft delete. In Laravel, soft delete is actually a feature that will allow you to delete the records from a database table. And in this case, those data will not be permanently removed. Instead of actually deleting the record, soft delete will mark them as deleted by setting a flag on a specific column. This column uh, stores the timestamp when the data was soft deleted. Soft delete is actually important if you need to recover the data anytime. Also, it is important when you will give the users a chance to recover the data or uh, and in that case the administrator will be able to restore them. It is also used in some other cases uh, for example to uh, make a history of the uh, data which was deleted or if you want afterwards the reporting then you can also use the soft delete things. So let's start I am going to show you how to work with that. First, I am going to env file my database is Laravel. This is root. And now I am going to do one thing that is I am going to my terminal. And in my terminal, I am going just to create a migration file php artisan make migration. I am just going to create a um, migration. But first, I am going to create the student stable migration file create a student stable and in the database migration this one is created and in the students I am going to add for example a string that is a student name and another one will be for example a student email those two data are given here for example now I am going to run php artisan migrate okay it is asking to create a database yes if i run this in my php my admin i am going to refresh you will see that the database is created by the name laravel and student stable is here now i am going to create a model php artisan make model and then a student will be the model name the singular name okay so my model has been created in, into the app models here so this is my student model. Now I will start to work with the soft delete thing. So in order to do that, I am going to create a migration for soft delete. So PSP artisan make migration. And then I will uh, create a file migration file add soft delete uh, columns, for example, to uh, where is students table so is students so if i run this one enter you will see that another migration file comes and here is a schema is students here i will write that is table soft delete so table soft deletes i use here and in the case of down method i am going to call table drop soft deletes so after creating like this what i am going to do i am going to run migration again php artisan migrate now if i go to my table students table structure you see that a deleted at attribute automatically comes because i use the soft deletes in the migration so just what is changed in my students table just a new column added that's name is deleted at so this is actually the change here in the students table now i am going uh, to do one thing that is in the students i am going to close this one this one okay in the model i will have to add something so here i will add use elu minute then i will use data base then eloquent and then i will use soft delete soft deletes so here in the top i add this and here inside i will use the soft deletes again that soft deletes 
so this is the change in the model because when i will go to delete any data using the model it will now understand that i want to delete the data as soft delete not permanently remove the data from the database table so it will understand now i am going to my web route and here for example my route name is here student and here i am going to call student controller student controller class and there is index method there is no controller so i am going to create the controller by the name student controller php artisan make controller student controller so the controller will be created and into the controller that is created into the http controllers folder this one here i will create a function public function index for example here i will show all the student data or if you want you can also make some other things here now i am going to save the data here for example i am going to call the model to the top that is use app models and then student and here using the model i will uh, save the data so student student so here object i create and i will insert the data in the object name equal to for example like this and object email equal to something like this and then i will save the data so the data will be inserted so let's check if it is working or not in the web route i call student okay that's good and this method uh, will be called and if this is called the data will be inserted into the database so let's check to insert the database first i am going to hit not this one i will have to use the student a student controller does not exist that means in my web.php to the top i will have to use app http controllers then student controller now i am going to run this one and if you go to the table this data is added so i am going to add for example more on or to data for example uh, more data i am going to use here sabir i give the name here i am going to refresh this on another data inserted so here refresh you see another data here is another data like this refresh you see the data is inserted i am going to use another data like this and i am going to insert this data also so total four student data i added here now i want that the number three student i want to delete this one so in order to delete that student i am for example going or to run i am going to use one function i am not going to use multiple function okay so here in order to delete the data what we will use is student where i will apply the condition and delete the student so where the id student id equal to 3 this data should be deleted but remember that when it will try to delete the data using the model the model i created it is actually for the soft deletes so when i will delete it actually the row will not be deleted it will just add a new attribute in the deleted at uh, a new value will be added here in the deleted at uh, but before going to run this i am going uh, to show you another one so that you can understand public function for example delete i will call this one okay otherwise it will be hard to understand so here and uh, here as i will not insert any more student in this uh, example so i am going to delete it so here i will show all the student the student get for example student data equal to this one right so here if you want to show the student data you can do it here also for is 
student data as item and in this controller here i am going to show the output so echo the item of name this one is on data and here for example i am going to concat something like that and item email and after that i am just going to put a beer so if i run the index now that means here you see that all the student data are coming here that is good now i will use the delete to delete the data so here i am going to create another route here and function is delete here i will tell student delete uh, so all all or here only delete okay so i will delete the student now so i am going to copy and in the new tab i am going to call the delete enter now if i go here you will see that this row that the number three it is not deleted instead of the deleted at is added here now if you want to show all the students you will see that the students is not available here that means a soft delete is happened so the student data is not here that means uh, a user can uh, see that the student is deleted he can think like that but uh, the actually it is not deleted the student is still remains here in the id3 uh, it is not showing because in the deleted add attribute there is a value when the uh, task was performed that time is uh, the time and date is given here that means the deleted at is not null if it is not null that means this data is soft deleted i hope you have understood so this is actually the system to soft delete any data if you want to see that who is data or soft deleted i want to see only those data for example here is student data in order to see all the data i am going to copy and paste it again and here i will use for example only trust only trust there is a function and i can give here the latest data like this if i use this one that means only the uh, trust information this data is not deleted actually it is moved into trash so the uh, trash data robin will be appeared here now if i refresh you see that this is showing that means who is data are soft deleted if you want to see that list you will have to use like this a student only trust latest then get so this is the function you have to call here so this is the system to show the main data and to show the trust data now if i want that i want to restore the data now i am going to call another function that is restore and now i want to restore the data so instead of delete i will have to tell which id data will be restored so the restore function i will call and in the web here i am going to call another one that is restore restore this method so restore now if you just run instead of delete the restore you see that the data will back again yes now it is again null and the data is back if you want to show the data then what i can do here instead of this one i enable this again now if you refresh you will see that all the data are coming here that means from the soft delete i restored the data i hope you have understood how to soft deleted data and then how we can restore that